Hey, cousin. Yes, you, I'm talking to you. If you test positive for HSV1 or you test positive for HSV2, you are a cousin. Even if you just support me, you're a cousin. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about lysine versus herpes. If you test positive for herpes, here's a message for you. You are not dirty. You are worthy. And you are valuable. You deserve love. You deserve peace. And you deserve happiness. Hey there, cousin. You are not alone. Here, we learn. Here, we heal. And here, we overcome the stigma. I am at war with the stigma until our community feels comfortable being open about their status and proud of their sexuality. You are more than herpes. So let's slay the stigma. Welcome to my channel. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. Subscribe. Hey cousins, welcome. My name is Shayna Singleton, also known as the Herpes Goddess, also known as Coach Shayna Singleton, Goddess Queen Mother, Energy Lifter, Soul Cleanser, Herpes Warrior. Yeah, that's me. And my mission is to be at war with the herpes stigma until our community feels comfortable being open about their status and proud of their sexuality. Here's a little bit about myself. I am a member of the National Coalition for Sex Health. I am an author of several different books. I have several features. I am a herpes life coach, and I'm also the founder of Hey Cousins Growing, the largest herpes awareness platform because I inspire people to love themselves more. Yeah, that is my magic. I break people free from the shame of herpes. Just check my receipts. Give you some time. I'm gonna give you some time to read them. I'm gonna give you some time. All right, let's get into it. You came here to learn about lysine versus herpes. So let's do it. Let's start with the definition. What is lysine? Well, lysine is an essential amino acid that plays a crucial role in various bodily functions, including protein synthesis, tissue repair, and immune system support. And in contents of herpes, lysine has been studied for its potential to help manage and reduce the frequency of outbreaks. Now, I always say if you want to stop outbreaks, you have to attack the payload, attack the protein coat, and block replication. Here's how lysine works. By inhibiting the replication of the herpes virus. I hope you're taking notes, okay? This is free game, free game. And I'm going to put my resource in the description box below if you want to do your own research yourself, okay? Lysine competes with other amino acids such as arginine, L-arginine, which is required by the herpes virus for replication. And if you want to learn more about L-arginine, view this video here. By increasing the intake of lysine relative to arginine, it is believed that the balance can be shifted in the favor of suppressing the herpes virus and reducing the occurrence of outbreaks. While research on the effectiveness of lysine for managing herpes is mixed, some studies suggest that lysine supplementation for increasing lysine-rich foods may help in reducing the severity and duration of outbreaks. However, it is important to note that the individual responses may vary and more research is needed to establish the definitive benefits of lysine for herpes management. And let's go, let's keep going. Here are some examples of lysine rich foods that you may consider incorporating into your diet. I have some examples for my meat eating cousins and I got some examples for my plant-based cousins. 
even though y'all know I am pro plant based, I understand that it's not for everyone. So let's get into it. Lean meats such as chicken, turkey, and beef. Fish, including salmon and cod. Dairy products, such as yogurt, milk, and cheese. Eggs. Legumes, including lentils and black beans. Quinoa. And spirulina. It is worth noting that lysine supplements are also available. Ta-da! <laughs> I'm going to give you the information in the description box. Don't worry. All right? And they can be an alternative for those who are struggling to obtain sufficient lysine through their diet. As with any supplements or dietary change, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian to determine the most appropriate approach for certain needs and health conditions. Now, let's get into some of the supplements. If you go to like a store like Walmart, you will run into a lysine like this, right? And in this lysine, there's other ingredients with the lysine that are harmful to you. We take a vitamin and then they put stuff in there that, are, that doesn't belong in our body. I don't, I don't understand it. So anyway, I'm rambling now. Anyway, if you are searching for a good lysine supplement, I highly suggest that you try this uh, lysine right here. This was founded by a cousin within the community. Yes, it's for us, by us. So when you do purchase this supplement, you are supporting someone within our community. Not only that, he created these supplements and this brand for us, right? Um, to boost our immune system. I got sick and tired of going to the store and trying to find supplements like lysine and it coming with so many extra ingredients that I personally don't want to put in my body. And I'm pretty sure you probably don't want to put in your body neither. So when you purchase L lysine from this brand, right? Natural Cure Labs. On the back of the bottle, it says exactly what it is. L lysine. And then the ingredients for the capsule, vegetable cellulose, rice flour. That's it. So when you get this type of L-lysine, you know it's really L-lysine, okay? If you want to purchase L-lysine from Natural Cure Labs, you can use cold cousins with a S, cold cousins, to get 10% off. I'll make sure I put the link down in the description box below, okay? I'm so happy that you are here um, every Monday. I need you to subscribe, right? Because every Monday I will be giving you a new herpes tip. Every Wednesday I will be educating you about the virus. And every Friday we are dismantling the stigma. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the alert buttons. I'm so happy you guys are here. Thank you for your support. It's appreciate it and i'll see you wednesday for herpes 101 wednesdays i just want to say this too i go to therapy and i've been in therapy for almost three years and it's nothing like having someone who actually gets you on this level so i just want to say i appreciate you one thing that i've learned is from my own therapist is not about the actual school that teach you how to be a therapist and show up for people is the real life experiences so i just want to tell you thank you because this is doing so much. And so I even have therapy on Thursday before I came here, like to this group. So I just want to let you know it's certain things that we get, or I'll speak for myself, but that I can get from you that I can't get from someone else that doesn't walk and live in this world. So I just want to say, I appreciate you and thank you very much. Thank you.